Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be making these super cute little earrings made out of crochet. It's requested by Sharon. I hope I'm not butchering your name, but I think it's Sharon. Um, so thank you so much for requesting it. All we gotta do is add this little hook to it to complete it. But what we're gonna be needing for this is um, these hoops. Um, you can purchase them at any you know jewelry shop. Um, they have different sizes or if you don't have that readily available for you you can use an old pair of earrings um, and I've already started here the process you can kind of see okay so we are going to be using this earring here because it's a little bit bigger and it's um, easier for me to show you how it's done All right you're gonna need this yarn. Now, the only thing is, I honestly don't know what size this is. I apologize, I'm not crochet savvy. I just went to the store and bought it because it's what I was looking for, something thin and cotton. So I apologize. Um, but I can tell you that I use a number seven needle. Um, and then that's basically it. So, let me start, find the beginning of this right here. Okay, this is my first time doing this, so I hope that I'm going to be clear with what I'm trying to put across here. Um, I don't even know the lingo, so I'm going to try my best. What you want to do here is just do that. Put your finger through and pull it up like that. Let me get this out of the way. I think this is just an interruption. We don't want no interruptions right now. Okay, so we're going to be doing this knot. I'm going to do it one more time. So you fold over. And basically you just pull it through. Just like that. Okay. Then you're going to just take your needle and pull this nice and tight. Then you come with your earring, whichever one it is. And you want to start off by putting the needle in the hole. And you're going to be holding all this other... Let's put this over here. And you're going to be taking this piece, okay? Pulling it through like that. And then pull it through. Just like that. That's going to be your first... Then you're gonna go back in the hole, pull through, up like that, grab some yarn, and pull it through. Okay, let's do it again. In the hole, pull it up, grab some yarn, and pull it through both yarns. Through the hole, pull it up, grab some yarn, and put it through. Now, I know you're supposed to you know crochet like this your hands like this so to all your crochet savvy people I know I'm doing it incorrectly but I'm, I can't do it I, I don't know if it's because of muscular dystrophy or whatever it's just very difficult to keep this position for me it gives me cramps it's just really bad so I turn my hand inward I feel like I have better um, a grasp of it so again put your needle through your hole bring up okay Pull that over in there like that and pull it through both. And you're going to continue to do this until you go all the way around. You know, and you just fix it up like that. Okay, and then I'm going to get to the part here where they say I completed that line. Okay? So once you get to the end of it, okay, where you're happy with how much yarn you have, you can do this nice and full. If you want the color to show through, I guess you can do less yarn. It's all up to you. So now we're going to have to finish this part off. So how we do that is, you take the needle and you put it through the last hole. Just like that. You want to bring the yarn through and bring the yarn through. To leave it to one hook. Just like that. One hole. 
Now, you're gonna yarn over once, twice, and you're gonna find the next hole, which is right here. You put it through the hole, you bring the yarn up, and you yarn through both, and you start again. One, two. Okay, I'm gonna do that a few times. I know it's, you have to get used to it. Put the needle right in the hole. You bring that yarn through. It leave you with two little lines. Yarn over, pull it through both. Okay, and then one and two. And you do that all the way around. You put your needle through. Pull the yarn through. You're gonna have two little hooks. Yarn over, put it through both, and one and two. And you're gonna do that all the way around until you get to the end. Okay guys, so I've come pretty much to the end. I just have like one more hole. Okay, now what I like to do is I go to find and I, I, I look for my last hole again. Okay. I take the yarn, I put it through that one, and I put it through that one. And that basically completes it, okay? And then what I do is, when I find my scissor, I cut it off. What you do is, you pull this all the way through, okay? All the way out. And then, the last piece you had, in the beginning piece, you wanna just tie that into a knot. I do it that way, not too hard, and then I go and I do it the other way. There's a name for that knot. Don't know what it's called, but and just like that. And you want to cut as close as possible without interfering or cutting anything off by accident. Okay. And then um, what I do is I, I usually take off um, the hook when I'm working with it. If it comes with a hook like this, I like to take it out because this isn't this is a disruption. It's just annoying. So um, these obviously don't come with the hooks. You add the hooks after the fact. Okay, so basically that's it guys. I hope that's helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Send me a line. And uh, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. God bless.